This video has been made to help you prepare for assessments and the GCSE Geography exam. When you are explaining coastal landforms, it is a good idea to use four linked and extended sentences. Make sure you include and define key terminology. I have prepared examples for six important landforms created by erosion, including headlands and bays, cliffs, caves, natural arches, stacks and wavecut platforms. The video clips you will see are from Flamborough on the Yorkshire coast. Where there are alternating bands of hard and soft rock at a coastline, headlands and bays may form. The sea attacks this coastline through erosion processes such as hydraulic action, which is the sheer force of the water, and corrasion, where rocks and pebbles are thrown at the cliff face. The softer rock erodes and retreats faster than the harder, more resistant rock. This leaves the hard rock sticking out into the sea as a headland, with a sheltered bay in between where the softer rock used to be. Waves cause the most erosion between the low water mark and the high water mark. Erosional processes, such as hydraulic action, which is the sheer weight of the water, and corrasion, where pebbles and rocks are thrown by the sea, created a wave cut notch. As the notch grows, the rock above becomes unstable and collapses, leaving a cliff. The collapsed material is washed away and a new notch starts to form. Headlands are usually made of more resistant rock that may have vertical weaknesses called faults. The force of waves hitting these faults in a process known as hydraulic action widens them. Materials such as rocks and pebbles also collide with the cliff in a process called corrasion. When this happens, the weaknesses widen and a cave is formed. Headlands are usually made of more resistant rock that may have vertical weaknesses called faults. The force of waves hitting these faults in a process known as hydraulic action widens them and caves are formed. Two caves on either side of a headland may be joined by erosion such as corrasion which is when pebbles and rocks are thrown by the sea. When this happens, a natural arch is created. Caves are vertical weaknesses opened up by processes such as hydraulic action and corrasion. Two caves on either side of a headland may be eroded through to create a natural arch. The arch widens due to erosion at the base and weathering at the top, causing it to become unstable. When the arch collapses, it leaves an isolated pillar of rock separated from the headland called a stack. Cliffs are attacked between the high and low water mark, mainly through processes of hydraulic action, which is the force of the water, and corrasion, where material is being thrown against the cliff by the sea. This creates a wave cut notch. Erosion causes the notch to grow and become larger until the cliff cannot support its own weight and collapses. The cliff retreats, leaving behind a wave cut platform, which is covered at high tide and is smoothed through abrasion which is when material is being dragged across a rocky surface. 
Look out for other Geography Juice videos on coastal landscapes. Thank you for watching.